The New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science's latest touring show is one that you'll truly have to see to believe. This is a must-see exhibit because these sharks are some of the weirdest animals that ever lived. The buzzsaw or whorl-toothed shark is believed to have lived some 290 million years ago. The first fossilized remains of the shark were found in Russia in the 1800s. But they've since been found almost worldwide as fossils. Most of the fossils in this exhibit came from Idaho. But about three years ago, one of our volunteers, a museum volunteer, found a jaw fragment of a world tooth shark near Socorro in New Mexico. Before he found that jaw fragment, we had found fragments of teeth. But now we have the actual jaw fragment from New Mexico from 300 million year old rocks, and it's in the exhibit. The discovery of a new fossil brings with it numerous questions and mysteries. But the buzzsaw shark posed unusually difficult questions to answer. Well, you know, when the world tooth shark was first found, and for maybe almost a century, no one could figure out how the jaw works. You know, if you look at that whorl, it was really hard to understand where it was even located on the shark. Some theories argued the distinctive whorl was located on the tip of the snout or on the tip of the jaw. But the idea that the exhibit portrays, which is probably the best idea, is that it was actually within the mouth, it's part of the lower jaw, and there was a way that the shark could use that whorl to probably slice up or gash its prey. But with the buzzsaw located inside its mouth, how did the creature keep from injuring itself? They discovered in Idaho the whole jaw structure, and there's a way that when the jaw closes, there, there's like a, a, a stop there that stops the jaw from closing so much that the teeth would actually hit the head. So hopefully, you know, it's like a doorstop. Hopefully that doorstop always worked or else that poor shark would have hurt itself pretty badly. Buzzsaw Sharks of long ago isn't just about discovering the mysterious story behind this ancient beast of the seas. It's a wonderful exhibit that not only brings the shark here, but it uses the artwork of Ray Troll, who's a famous artist and, and a rather humorous artist, uh, painting these ancient sharks. And we've got his sculpting, we've got his paintings. And then the other thing we apparently have is, or, or I am told, there are about a dozen cheeseburgers hidden in the paintings. That's Ray's sense of humor. He likes cheeseburgers. And so the real trick, I haven't seen the dozen. I don't know if I could even find them, but maybe everyone should come see the exhibit just to find the cheeseburgers if the sharks don't do it for you. The show has a limited engagement at the museum, running until September 15th. You're invited to come down and not only explore the fossils, you're invited to examine the evidence and question the ever-changing conclusions of this obscure shark millions of years old. And I think everyone needs to come down here, look at these jaws, contemplate how they might have worked, and see if you agree with the scientists that this is how they work, because we still don't have complete knowledge of these sharks. For more information on buzzsaw sharks of long ago, head over to casa.com.